Hello and welcome back to Power 5610. It's been a minute since I've been out on the range, but I'm happy to be out here. So today's episode, as you can tell by the title, we're going to address the spalling um, off of, based off of what people have been commenting. Most of the comments that I get are, will it stop a 5.7, which I can't answer, don't get too excited. I don't have a 5.7 yet. Um, what's the spalling like? Because it'll tear up your entire jaw if it's not good. And at 38 Special, the pink denotes that it's light ammo. So I just wanted to address real quick that both of us were correct because if you look here, I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not. Let me see if it will. Kind of focuses on it. That's I saw that first before I saw the light denotation down here. So we're both right. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I set up to decide to test this spalling. And we're going to walk down to the range. And oh, that was another thing is my camera angles were terrible in the last one. So I realized something. I can literally pick up my tripod because it's not that heavy and just walk it down there and stop being so lazy. So we'll be right down at the range here in a minute. All right, so this is the contraption that I built to check for the spalling. Um, it's just an old crate. I think I said, I think I might've mentioned it at another time. Just an old crate. I screwed it into the thing here and I've got foam, insulation foam all around here. This is the current wish plate that I got. Uh, I paid $50 for this one because I bought from the same company that I bought from last time. Shipping was free, but they only sent me one plate. So I can only test this one. I put um, Flex Seal tape on it. I put three, you can kind of see where it, where it ended here, yeah. And then one over here. But I put three strips across it and then kind of just finished it off on the top and bottom here. And then I gave it seven or eight coats of truck bed liner. So we're gonna see what the spalling's like. I'm gonna shoot it with the 38 Special first because now I know the 38 Special is a lot lighter than, well, not a lot lighter, but it's less velocity than the nine. Then we'll move on to the nine and I'm just probably gonna hit it with the nine a bunch of times. And then I brought out the um, 300 Blackout as well. So we'll be testing all three of those, see, if it, uh, see what the spalling looks like after shooting it with all those rounds. So I'm gonna put this back in its spot here and we're gonna head back out to the truck and start shooting. First couple shots here are gonna be with the 38 Special uh, 125 grain full metal jackets. They're just flat nosed. Um, I'll zoom in on the plate here and we'll see what it does. So I hit it and as you can see here, that's where it went in. Not the greatest shot, but I'm still working with this 38 Special. It's not the most accurate gun in the world. But if you can see it, there's, it broke off the bed liner right there. Yeah, you can see it right there. It literally just shattered it. Now that may have been fixed had I sprayed the whole plate. I didn't have time to, so I didn't spray the back. And I don't know if it was a sealed unit, whether it would, it would protect it a little bit better. But as you can see on the back, no damage whatsoever. Um, there's a good picture from for you. Nothing on the plate here. So I'm gonna break out the knot real quick too. Um, so I shot it, it was like right in here is where I shot it. There are no lines of spall. You can see here's a piece of the truck bed liner that kind of just broke off. But um, no spall lines up here, nothing going on up there. So we're gonna reset the plate. As you can see up here, no, no spall lines up here, no bullet fragments, anything like that. So it's definitely controlling the spalling a lot better with that truck bed liner on it. Okay, there's the plate again. I'm gonna shoot, let's do three shots at a time, make sure they all hit the plate. But I'm gonna do three shots at the plate, go up, check it, come back, redo. Um, I just have the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 as usual. Well, it might be one shot at a time if it keeps falling down like that. So a word to the wise, I would definitely recommend spraying the entire thing with the truck bed liner because it's cracking all over the place. But if you look right here, you can see the bullet right in there. Piece of it anyway. But you can see, I mean, there's, there's liner and stuff. You can see it definitely bulged it. And I need, to, I need to try and push it back so it, it 
hits right up against the surface there because that's where I'm losing a lot of my I know it's it's eating a lot of the inertia that way but um, held up to one shot so we'll try and I'm gonna try and secure it a little bit better but I can't think of any other way other than putting it in a vest and on a dummy which I don't have those resources right now and I do apologize but we're working on it all right second shot Smith and Wesson There we go. There's three on it now. Well, four, technically. All right. So it's hitting the plate, like down in. This is from the 38 Special, but I got, this is the, the first one's right here. And then I got one, two, and three is right there. Sorry, it's hard to see in the mirrored version, but the spalling, I mean, it's digging. You can see how thick that is. You see, you can see how thick it is, but this is really protecting. I'm gonna take a look here, but everyone wanted to see the back of the plates as well. You can see this lighting is perfect. You can see the bulges. Whoop, there we go. You can see the bulges here, but those bulges are from a bullet not entering your chest. So let's take a look down here. So, some bad news. Break you off here from the tripod. Now, I didn't notice this the first time, so I cannot confirm, but I did hit, if you look, I hit one right here, and I think it went out the side there. Let me see, yeah, you can see without the flashlight. It went, I don't know what came out the side here, because it very well could have been the bullet, I'm not gonna lie. But it it blew off this piece of the crate here and it damaged this stuff right here. Now, a thing the thing with it is though, is spalling out the side isn't your worst enemy. Spalling out the top and out the upper sides is, and that was a really badly placed shot. I keep hitting that stupid button. But you can see where it would have been right, right there. And it, it very well could have come out the side and taken off a piece of that. When we're talking about spalling, um, <clears throat> which I didn't know any of this when I filmed that first video back in April. Now I know more. The spalling, so the, the plate sits about here, goes down here, and it sits just above like your uh, xiphoid process or the bottom of your sternum, well, bottom of your rib cage. So right about where your diaphragm is, where is where the plate would sit. Here's an idea, Ryan, why don't you just use the example you have right in front of you. So it should sit just about like this. So as you, as you can see, coming out the side down here is not the most damaging thing in the world. If you got spalling coming up this way into your chin, or out this way, winging your arms, it's not gonna be deadly out the sides, but out the top it could be. And, I mean, this, you can definitely see, it cracked, so this is the foam layer attached to the flex tape. So it did not control the spalling, but it was really close to the side, so you're gambling, you're, you're really gambling. Had I, maybe had I sprayed that more, it may have controlled it. But, uh, like I said, I was on a time constraint and couldn't. I'm gonna try uh, the balder. I haven't really sighted it in with the laser. I kinda just did it in my house at like 10 feet or so, not even, and just kinda lined up the laser where the sights were. I haven't got to shoot it yet. So this will be a good test. I'm gonna empty the rest of the mag, hopefully without it falling down, and uh, we'll see how it holds up to those. Can I just say real quick, the thing I love about this balder Pro is, uh, once again, I'm not sponsored by anyone, so I'm just saying it because I really like it. It's got the quick release Picatinny on it, and you can literally just slide it and you're done. It's not going anywhere. And then with a quick switch, you got the laser on, which you should be able to see. It's You can't see it on this camera because it picks up a lot of light, but it is getting about dusk time here.
All right, I have more in there than I thought. We'll take a look what it did, and then we'll move on to the 300, see what kind of shots we're getting out of the 300. Okay, here's the plate. Most of the rounds still hit over to the right-hand side here, as you can see, and you can see this is just kind of flaking. But if you see all these bumps, that's a lot of spalling. And I think, honestly, the, um, ouch, there's a piece sticking out here, I forgot about it. Um, there's, I think, honestly, the biggest thing with the anti-spall material, honestly, I think the flex tape is helping more than anything. Um, once again, I don't know if it's because I didn't spray enough bed liner on, but uh, you can see it's torn up this entire side and it's been completely torn through. So unfortunately it's proving to be not the greatest, but it is working. And here's the back of the plate for all you people that wanted to see the back of the plate. Um, the lighting's getting a little bit darker, but you can still see just bumps, nothing real heavy. And that's the highest velocity um, pistol that I have. So we're gonna try the 300. Um, I didn't bring out the 556 today, I apologize for that. Um, I was planning on making another test, or <coughs> I was planning on making another video of me destroying this one and seeing if this extra protection helped at all with the ballistics of it. Um, but we're gonna pull out the 300, fire a couple shots down range, and we'll see where that goes. Okay, so looks like we got a little bit of different um, example out of the 300 at this range. Um, as you can see here, oh, uh, where is it? Right there, there's the bullet hole, right there. And I pulled up the plate. Shines right through. 300 is defeating this armor. So that is the thing with Wish, guys. You have to remember that not everything and not every seller is gonna be the exact same. These ones cost more, and I think it may have been because I secured it down better this time to absorb the force, but it shot right through that without stopping. So, um, 300 will defeat this uh, 3A armor, which it's not rated for. It's not rated to be 3A armor. It's rated to be the, um, I mean, it is rated for 3A. It's not rated for rifle rounds. It's rated for pistols up to 44 mag. So, I mean, there's no spalling because it went right through. But we're going to try a couple more shots with 300 and see if they all go through and see if they're just, you know, if it's just luck of the draw. All right. We'll see how many more shots we can get through the 300. Okay, so, bad news. If I've learned anything from these tests through comments, through people, um, one thing I've definitely learned is that, this is just from testing on my own purposes, if the plate doesn't move, chances are it went through the plate. Because when it absorbs that energy, it bounces around. When that energy goes straight through, then, well, you can tell what happens. So we're gonna go up and check the plate. So we're gonna go up and check the plate, and I have a feeling I know what happened to all those rounds that I just shot. You can see there's one, two, I think that's from a 300. There's three at least right center mass, but I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen when we look on the back side of these plates. Oh, yeah. So uh, definitely one, two, and I think two of them hit down here and then one from the old one. But like I said, this wasn't a bulletproof test, but we can kind of see what happens. The good news is though, the spalling thing worked amazingly. And you can see back here, I got a little hole in there. I need to rebuild this. But you can see here, the spalling 
uh, tester worked perfectly. And there's some holes right there from where they all went through. But I'll be definitely using this again to check spall lines. There is a piece, if you look right here. Oh, that worked perfectly. Holy cow. You can see right there, There's that's what spalling is, when the bullet fragments part. Um, so, these are only rated for pistol rounds. And we proved today that my last test was flawed. My most popular video on YouTube was flawed. But, if you put this this tape on it, I don't even know if you need the Rhino, or the uh, truck bed spray. But, I don't think you'll have any problems with spalling unless you get hit on the side, which I think could happen, and maybe if you taped it up a little bit better, it would work. I did tape it the whole way around. You can see the lines on the back here. I taped the whole sides, but those weren't, an, that wasn't strong enough to stop the bullets. So I'll be definitely using that testing again. So, what did we learn from this test? Wish isn't very reliable. You can get one that works really well, and one that doesn't work well at all. Um, it does work against the handgun rounds that I shot at it though, which is what it's intended for. And if you put the tape on it, it will help with the spalling. But, I would like to take a minute out of this video to thank my Patreons that you can sign up down below. All I require is one dollar a month, one little dollar. I'm not asking you to donate, but it does help support the channel. Everything that I get from YouTube, which isn't a lot, and everything I get from my Patreons goes right back into the channel. They're the ones that helped me do this video because uh, I spent $50 on that plate and I also bought a new pair of boots off of Wish that I will be reviewing once I have a better sense of how they perform. I can't just pull them out of the box and be like, these are great. But I just wanted to let you guys know I do have a Patreon. You can sign up down below. It's $1 a month. Um, you can donate as much or as little to $1 that you want. It really helps support the channel and it helps me create videos like this. And then I can take your suggestions um, to build or to buy stuff like uh, the Wish Plates or the Riot Shield. That's one on my list. The soft armor that they have on there. It's a whole vest that's supposedly bulletproof. Um, I'm going to buy stuff off of eBay too. Tyler has some composite plates that we're going to be testing in our next video as well. In one of our following videos, I should say. So, um, just want to take a minute to thank my Patreons for helping make this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you to my Patreons. You're all very beautiful. I've been Pyro. Have yourselves a wonderful day.